Hey, Sneaky Linux Mac. For tonight. Okay. As you know, I've been doing some stuff for old school laptops, okay? And I've done a couple of videos over the past couple of days. Well, tonight I've got to actually bring one home and have a play. Now, let me say, they do not make it easy to get into the BIOS or the motherboard with security, etc., etc. But of course, I've got around that. Not a problem. So here's 20 other things I've got to deal with, okay? These are between, shall we say, 11 and 8 years old, okay? They are really, really heavy duty. Trust me. Really, really. You wouldn't want to drop one on your foot, because they are so heavy. I think they're over 3 kilos, so they're quite a heavy laptop. And they do come with this colour keyboard, although mine has two keys missing, which I must have to fix really soon. So... It's an RM Mobile 1300, okay? So back in the day, this was probably really, really fantastic. And they said here, I'll just highlight this, hard working battery will get to do over seven hours in the day. That wasn't ever, ever realistically possible, even in them days, okay? And it's not possible now, okay? I've managed so far, I've done a lot of tests on it over this evening, okay? I've been doing it since about five o'clock. I can get around about three hours out of it, okay? And that's using a Linux distribution. Windows would not get that. Now, this is what it came with. Windows 7. Yeah, come with Windows 7. Locked down completely, okay? Quite a bit of a bummer to get out of that. Okay. But it does come with all this here. It has all these ports. The version I have here is this one down here. I'll just come to it. It's a T6600, which... Is it basically, I think it's a Toshiba model at the end of the day. A Toshiba model. I sold quite a few of these years and years and years ago. I think one of my current customers still has his and still uses it uh, on Windows 8.1 and it just doesn't work very well. So, you know, they give up. The one I've got here comes with 2 gig of RAM, DDR2. So it's two sticks. I've opened it up. I've cleaned it all out. There is no jumper settings. We can actually jump and clear the BIOS or anything or UEFI, as we say, and it only comes with a 160 gig SATA drive. So you won't actually get much for your money, really, when you think about it. Oh, yeah, by the way, it doesn't come with an optical drive. Okay, no, there's a little thing on the side that says, no, you're not getting it. Okay, so that was at least £100 extra. Blah, 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 blah. I was just going to scroll down more. Now, even in them days, okay. Five hundred and sixty pound plus fat was over six. That would make it about six forty. No day. That was an awful lot of money. Awful, awful lot of money. And now they're expected to chuck them away. Not good, is it really? Not good at all. So anyway, after hours now, what's time? It's half past eleven now, and that's all basically I've been doing all night. It's just playing around what distros work and what distros don't work. Okay. Some of the ones I really wanted to work just just lost some functionality at the end of the day. And there's nothing much I could do about it. Now, you could buy these a few years ago for £141 plus VAT plus delivery. Would you want to? No, not really, would you? No, you wouldn't want to do that. Okay. So, yeah. But this was the thing. And you can still find them on eBay, by the way. Well, I tried MX-17. Okay, it was fine. It installed perfect. It, it was quite fast. But after updating, it lost all wireless connectivity and I couldn't get between folders, even after rebooting and reinstalling. So that was a no-no, but I knew that was going to be a no-no anyway. Now, the big hope I did have was Peppermint. I thought, yeah, Peppermint, we'll really do this, even in 32 or 64. Unfortunately, it didn't want to reinstall whatsoever on this machine. And this is what I said to you in the video before. Some hardware back in the day was really, really picky. Some stuff would work. Do you remember when you had an old laptop from, say, 2006, and you tried to install Linux on it in 2010, 2011? Just, it would work or it wouldn't work. This is one of those things. And unfortunately, Peppermint just didn't work, and I was had high hopes for it, really, because it had most of the stuff I wanted. And I could customise it really, really easily, because all the tools were there for me. And finally... Oh, now I thought, we'll give Zorin OS a go, but this one is just too old, okay? Too old for a Zorin, okay? 
after about 45 minutes to 50 minutes of trying to install no i just it gave up basically it just gave up so what do you think would install okay you won't believe it okay the one that i always use and i love zubuntu yes zubuntu installed the wireless has worked it kept connecting it didn't lose stuff it just updated perfectly even Lubuntu couldn't do that. They're all based on the same base, and I don't understand why that works. Okay, just let me go to it, and we'll go to the bundle. Okay, now you know I love this distro anyway. It used to be my workhorse until not too long ago, and I've been on Linux Lite for quite a long time now. But this one just seems to work perfectly reasonably fast on this sort of hardware remember it's only got two gig of ram 1080 videos play perfectly just perfectly and stuff like that so what i'm going to do over the weekend i'm going to load it up with the stuff it needs customize it and go from there and what i'm going to do after that i'm going to show you what it looks like yeah i'm going to do that yeah so that's just to say how we're going on so Zubuntu is the winner here. I mean, some of you said they'll oh, try, try a KDE Neon and stuff like that. It's just not going to work on this age of hardware. I mean, it's really old. It's not 2012, guys. This hardware is older than that. Okay. The stacks and stacks of this stuff go into waste. Now, it's not going to be super, super fast. But if you can get a laptop in every child's hand in the whole school, even for just two lessons, this is going to be fantastic. And this is why I'm doing it. Okay, Nice. So that's the update. The next one you see will probably be me showing you what it looks like. Sneaky little sound. See you later. Bye-bye.